Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over another 20 tips that I've found in the time I've been using my Steam Deck. As for the first few videos, these tips range from beginner to advanced in no particular order, and I'll bet that you don't know all of them. As always, if you learn anything, be sure to leave a comment below and consider subscribing to the channel for more Steam Deck content. With that, let's get right into the tips. If your game isn't running very well, you might be able to reduce the resolution and use the in-overlay FSR upscaling. This is inferior to most built-in upscaling options like FSR2, but it'll give you even higher performance. If you're finding yourself running out of battery too quickly, you may want to pick up a battery bank to carry around with you. I'm able to get nearly two full charges on my OLED deck out of this U-Green one I picked up while playing the entire time. Overall, I can stay away from the wall for almost 12 hours on my OLED deck while playing at 45 FPS on Final Fantasy XIV. If you want more storage for your games, you can upgrade the internal drive very easily or use a microSD. I have an entire video dedicated to testing various drives if you're interested in the performance implications of each option. Check it out up here if you are. Remote Play Together is a really cool feature that lets you share your game with a friend and play like it was couch co-op. Try it out by opening a supported game, opening the quick access menu, and host or join a session. Only one person needs to own a copy of the game, so it's cost effective too. If you hate screen glare as much as I do, and you don't mind a little less sharpness, then consider either getting the deck with an etched screen or an anti-glare screen protector. It'll soften the image just a little bit, but I actually prefer that look. If you want to protect your deck from drops, scrapes, and dings, you might want to try out JSOX's mod case. I've been using mine for over a year now, and it saved my neck more than a few times while remaining slimmer in my bag than the default carrying case. The deck ships with really large dead zones by default. Try turning them down if you'd rather have quicker reactions with the analog sticks. Just be careful to not lower them too much or you could start getting some stick drift. If your sticks start drifting and you have an LCD deck, try swapping in the Ghoulie Kit Hall effect sticks since they're immune to drift completely. I've had some in my modded deck for a while now and I've loved how responsive they are. Note that none exist for the OLED deck as far as I'm aware, but I'm hoping that they'll be available soon. You can use Discord on the Steam Deck. Just install it from the Discover Store and add it as a non-Steam game. Then boot into the game you want to play and then into Discord. Then hop in a voice call. Hey everyone, I'm interrupting this video to announce the new merch store. It's the first one I've ever had. It's merch.cryobite.io, and we have tons of cool merch. This is an embroidered shirt with my logo on it. Uh, we got the softest hoodie you ever done seen. Uh, it's not a zip up, but it is very soft and it is very nice. We have a beanie of, uh, all of these are in varying colors, by the way. Uh, we have a really nice sticker sheet See if I can get it without any glares on it. But it's this one's a little glossy and it's got not compe, uh, if you recognize that from the ending of the um, Cry Utilities videos. And we even have uh, big, big mouse mats. Let's see if I can stretch this out. Yeah, right there. This one's a big one. I wanted to check on the quality and use this as a recording mat. Um, but yeah, we also have, uh, let's see, we have a different sticker sheet with varying sizes of stickers. We have a notebook, um, we have mugs, we have a, uh, screen printed t-shirt, um, different desk mats, a mouse pad, um, and I think that's it for right now, but please, um, if you're interested, please go check it out. Um, I made the prices as low as I could. Uh, with the quality of the merch, I'll say that it's not the cheapest, but I was really, really picky about the quality, and I have a bunch of different samples from a bunch of different companies. And um, this is the best quality that I've found. And uh, yeah, I, it's not the cheapest, like I said. I tried to cut costs as much as possible, but um, if you buy it, 
Some portion of it goes directly to supporting the channel, and I really, really appreciate anything that you get if you want to rep your uh, fandom or whatever. And yeah, I uh, really appreciate it, and back to the video. If you want a screen share from Discord on the deck, you have a few options. You can either use a third-party client, most of which break the Discord terms of service, to my knowledge, or you can use an app called X Wayland Video Bridge in the Discover Store and play your game in desktop mode. The reason this is an issue is that the stock version of Discord is using an ancient version of the Electron framework, and it isn't able to capture using Wayland yet. If you're looking for a better microphone than the default one, use a headset. I recommend either a Logitech or a SteelSeries headset with a 3.5mm connection, rather than Bluetooth. Razer headsets have been problematic for me, and Corsair is hit or miss, but if you already have one, make sure to give it a try. On a related note, Bluetooth in the LCD deck is quite good, but it can be blocked by some docks, particularly ones made of metal, and thus suffer from reduced range or increased latency. This was fixed in the OLED model since they moved the antenna, but if you're having issues on the LCD deck, then try to slide the deck a little bit off the right of the dock, since the antenna is behind the screen on the right side at the bottom. If you want a really fast and free way to use the desktop mode on your deck from another device, Install and configure Sunshine from the Discover Store on the deck, and install Moonlight on the device you want to access it with. This is a cool way to either develop on the Steam Deck, or play some games over the network with almost no latency. If you need to do anything in the command line of the deck, you'll probably want a password for your user. Set one by starting console up, and using the PASSWD command. Type the password you want, press enter, type the password again, and then press enter one more time. Don't worry that you don't see any text, that's intentional for security. If you want to access the command line of your deck remotely, just enable the SSHD service with the command sudo systemctl enable now sshd, and then ssh right in from any other computer on the network. If you want to transfer files to the deck easily, then enable SSHD as I mentioned before, and then use an FTP client like FileZilla or CyberDuck to connect. Then just drag and drop anything on or off of your Steam Deck. If you want to sync files between your deck and another computer, try using SyncThing. This is a great way to play an emulated game on several computers without needing to manually copy the files every time. If you need some more storage, but only while you're docked, you might want to pick up the JSOX M.2 dock. I have the 1TB variant, and it's amazing to have games loaded up that I only want to play while connected to a TV. If you have games or emulators that might need a mouse, make sure to change the trackpads back into mouse mode, so you can click on things without needing to touch the screen. Lastly, if you want recommendations for specific games to get the absolute most out of your deck's hardware, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out my previous videos. I do a lot of testing and find the best settings to use, whether you like frame rates, graphics, or battery, and I give the options for everybody to use them. Alright, that's another 20 tips for the Steam Deck, from quality of life to performance, and I'll bet you didn't know at least one. Please let me know if you liked these tip videos and whether I should continue making them or if they should skew more beginner friendly or more advanced. As always, thank you to my patrons, YouTube members, and super thanks for supporting me. If you learned anything in this video, please make sure to leave a like and comment what you learned down below. I really hope this helped everybody enjoy their deck just a little bit more. As always, thank you all for watching and have a great day down if you'd rather have quicker relax relaxations what are relaxations cut because the wind is angry try to uh, cut it out cut cut it out just cut this whole fucking thing down for from rid cancel cut why do i say cancel probably home pods